And undocking has occurred 7.02 p.m. Central Time, 8.02 p.m. Eastern Time while the station was flying just over the eastern part of Mongolia. So the Soyuz TM, uh, TMA 18M spacecraft undocked from the International Space Station. Mikhail Kornienko, Scott Kelly, Sergei Volkov on their way home. A TC7 is illuminated. Copy. Uh, so as you can see, that initial rate of departure very slow, backing away at only one-tenth of a meter per second. Uh, it's going to continue at this pace until it's about 50 feet away from the International Space Station, at which point it'll execute the first of two separation burns. Uh, the first one will be an eight-second firing of the engines on board the Soyuz craft uh, to begin opening that distance. Uh, the second will be a 30-second burn. Uh, those uh, firings should come uh, within the next two to three minutes. Ready is illuminated. Switching to page 97. Confirming. Observing the docking compartment, uh, it is clear of uh, for the object. Georgi, when are we switching to the narrow angle? I'll let you know. Issue one, S7, command, R7, R7, command is being issued. Go ahead. R7 is issued. We are monitoring, we can see the station. This of you again from the camera on board the Soyuz itself looking straight back down at the station. Continuing to back away, we're standing by uh, for that first separation burn. It's 0540, we're expecting the burn. Copy. In 10 seconds, that is correct. Looks, looks correct. Uh, Depot is activating, the burn is on. In eight seconds, DPO work eliminated, uh, not eliminated, and we are maneuvering counterclockwise, yes. This readiness is eliminated, the so one is not, the so as not, and DPO work is on. And the first separation burn occurring, you can see the thruster firings there on the Soyuz craft, Kelly, Korninenko, and Volkov inside. Moscow is inaudible, expecting the next inaudible copy. And again, that first burn coming uh, with the Soyuz about 50 feet away or so from uh, its docking port on the International Space Station. That was an eight-second burn of the Soyuz engines. Uh, the second one coming up will be much longer and will send the uh, craft well away from the International Space Station. The power activation is in. 7-3. The visiting vehicle officer here in Houston confirming the second burn has begun. The station is shifting to the right and up 45 degrees. Trust deactivation, uh, depot activation is not illuminated. The uh, 
completion of the cycle, uh, indication of accelerometer is not on. Uh, very good. The visiting vehicle officer here in Houston getting confirmation everything went well with that second separation burn. So use TMA 18M with the one year crew on board now departing the area of the International Space Station. There you can see the orbiting laboratory in full view from the camera on board the Soyuz craft, which uh, again undocked from the space facing side, so getting a great look straight down at the station and the Earth below. The Both spacecraft right now just over the uh, very far eastern part of Russia, about to, uh, well north of the Sea of Japan. Uh, S-18 is being issued. And V-18. Look, it's pretty over. We have indicator for descent. Valve are switching. Good. In the oxygen button, 171, 171. That the EV is full. 505, full propellant. Copy, Yuri. Copy. G4, do not issue that one yet. Copy. We have used nine kilograms. The Soyuz spacecraft continuing to exit the vicinity of the International Space Station. One year crew member Scott Kelly, Mikhail Kornienko on board, along with Russian cosmonaut Sergei Volkov. That undocking uh, coming successfully at 7.02 p.m. Central Time, 8.02 p.m. Eastern Time.